Chronically Blue. Hello, all of my sleepy bears. My name's Chronically Blue. Welcome back to episode 42 of Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> Uh, what we are doing this episode is we are just going through and we are seeing all the cutscenes as well as getting all the puzzle cocos. These ruins are almost like a puzzle. I know, right? I don't even know what I'm doing with most of these. I'm just running on instinct. Well, the energy that powers them is linked to cyberspace, right? And you took on that power when you freed me. Maybe that link is giving you special insight? Maybe they use that link among themselves. Like, instead of a language, they shared their thoughts and feelings directly. Yeah, maybe. All I know is the idea of the map gets updated in my head, which brings me one step closer to rescuing you. That's great. Oh, hey. You show up everywhere. You know, I, I don't think we were ever properly introduced. I'm Sonic. I know who you are. Your age, your biometrics, your weaknesses. You live for speed, are short-tempered, and short-sighted. Oh, so you're a fan. But I don't know anything about you, miss. I will not share personal information with an enemy. Why are we enemies? <sighs> I don't really get a bad vibe off of her, though. Because he's such a good judge of character. So, something's been bugging me about these ruins. The whole reason we came was because Tails detected the Chaos Emeralds were drawn here, right? And now I'm finding digital keys and confinement towers that seem custom made to hold the emeralds. Like half this stuff was built with them in mind. Maybe the ancients used the Chaos Emeralds in the past. We've learned of other past civilizations who did too. Yeah, but those groups tried to use them. The stuff here seems all about containment. Maybe they knew something about their power that we don't. The Chaos Emeralds are still pretty mysterious, even after all we've done with them. There's some great plot development. Oh, wow. I don't think we've seen any ruins quite like this on our adventures. Yeah, they're ancient, but also look kind of advanced. Wait, is retro sci-fi a thing? How were the tower and the floating giant stone built? Tails is the genius among us. Let's find him and see if he can figure things out. Right. I'm sure he'll hang on until I find him. I don't know. I don't, I don't think he'll survive. It's beautiful here, but there's a loneliness here. The land feels sad and empty. Yeah, I got the same feeling. I think it's tied to the ruins, weird robots, and other stuff we've encountered. But on the plus side... I've got plenty of room to run around. And you never know how many new routes you may discover. Yeah, I'll try not to have too much fun finding a way to restore you. <laughs> Don't hope on it. You hanging in there, Amy? Is your condition, well, I don't know, uh, uncomfortable? It's certainly unsettling. But it makes a big difference being able to at least talk to you. Before you freed me, I couldn't see or hear anything clearly. It was like looking into a kaleidoscope that was always shifting. I couldn't tell if I was coming, going, or moving at all. I'd have gone crazy if you hadn't gotten me out. Yeah, you're tough. I know you'd have hung in there. Still, I'm glad I could get you out. And I'm not going to stop until you're back to normal. Will she ever go back to normal? How are you feeling, Amy? I mean, what's it like being all ghosty? Honestly, I don't feel that different since you helped clear my mind. I guess it feels kind of... Hmm, detached? Have you ever flown around in a dream? Like you're lighter than air? That's what it feels like to me, anyway. I just wish I could finally land and be whole again. Hang in there, Amy. I'll figure something out. That's great. And with that, we did get the trophy for seeing all the side stories. So all we have left now is all the new Cocos, which I am very happy about. Now, the one thing that you're going to notice about the new Cocos is that they only show you where the Cocos are. They do not show you the beginning of it, which is what I would have preferred. So what we have to do is we have to find out where they are, look up, follow the direction, or lack thereof, in order to find out where it would start, 
and then go through the little platforming challenge in order to go and get the Coco. Now, as far as I know, you don't get anything extra for getting the Cocos. It's just something to do. So, it's there on the map, so I might as well go ahead and do it. And you may have noticed that I have not shown off getting all the memory tokens here. Because, no, uh, I didn't want this video to last 15 hours. Uh, so I will, I get the memory tokens off camera. That is completely just my own doing. Uh, same with the speed challenges. I do that by myself. But as I said before, I will show everything off on the very final island. So you can get just a tiny little glimpse, like 25% of how much stuff has been going on. Okay, so we have to dash in order to get to the hearts there. Or die. That also works. But luckily, with the very beautiful time to jump cut, you made it right through. Yeah, there is going to be quite a bit of editing here. There's a lot that there's going to be a lot of cuts, me figuring stuff out after a beautiful amount of time. So I wanted to go ahead and condense it for you so that way you could just see how to get to the new Coco, uh, what to do, and how to get the new Coco, as opposed to me spending 30 minutes like I did on just one Coco. So I. Wanting to condense it for you so it would be a little more palatable. Okay, but that is one of the Cocos. We only have a few more to go. Of course, I'm going to show them on the map because how else am I supposed to know where they are? And we're going to go and get them. I did not hide any Cocos. Uh, despite how many times I replayed the overworld in order to get the speed stuff, I always avoid the Cocos uh, if I do accidentally get there, just so that I can show off where all of them are. Just because the Cocos seem a little cool, some of them are a little challenging. So just a little something something in order to give you something to look forward to. Plus, they wear cute little hats. Unfortunately, they do not switch up the hats from islands. So if you see a Coco with a sombrero on one island, there's going to be a Coco with a sombrero on another island. They don't switch up the hats, unfortunately. That would have been cool, but yeah, you can't ask for too much. Especially since they just crammed in a bunch of post-game content, which I'm... I don't know if I'm going to do or not, because I'm, 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 I'm really tired of this game. I mean, the nice way possible It's just that my, like, internal, like, attention timer, like, expires after 10 hours, and I've been playing this for almost 30 hours. So, yeah. Uh, I, I, this is why I started this channel, because I kind of have to force myself to finish these games. But, you know, it, it's fine. The only extra stuff is that, uh, doing the arcade mode, or the mission thing, if you get an A, move on, S, then you know, great. And then there's the boss battle. I'll, I might do those off camera if I'm absolutely bored to tears, because I said that I might get something special. So cool. Uh, maybe. Okay, right, so here we have one that's a little out of the way, uh, but I got the timing down on this one. So if you just want to follow along, that's quite okay. Make sure the X is up and square is forward. You can't change the controls, but that's just something to little help you right there. That's if you're playing on the PS4 like I am. And once we jump to that one, there's this Coco. We're in a cute little crown. There's around, there's roughly like six to ten new Cocos per each island. So you're definitely going to have at least half an hour more of gameplay than you did previously. Here we have a ninja, but we've already defeated all the guardians here, so we don't really have to pay attention to them. Yes, as I know, I've done pretty good on this island. I had a lot of free time, so I cleaned it up quite a bit. But on the future islands, I will be showing off the Guardians that we hadn't defeated before, the cutscenes, of course, and the new Cocos. And when I have free time, whenever that is, I will go through and get all the memory tokens so then we can see the very beautiful, fully completed five islands. And then I will promptly go to sleep and uh, probably sell the game because I don't want to ever see Sonic Frontiers ever again. <laughs> it, I'm not upset, it's just sweet goodness. I've, I've never spent so long in a game before, like just trying to get the content and such. Like, it, it, it's just quite a bit, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Sonic, you gotta go the other way. Yeah, that way, there you go. But, and I, I've just never played a game that's taking the song before like most of the games like games that are within like 10 hours to beat that that's the kind of stuff that I enjoy that that's like perfect timing uh, even shorter games than that are awesome because then I can just play through them whenever I have like an hour to kill 
anything like that. Like Nights into Dreams, I love that. That it's it's a very nice quick game. A Jet Set Radio, I felt was reasonably reasonably pace. You know, just the kind of games that don't spend 30 hours on. So definitely none of the open world games. I I can't tell you how many times I've picked up and put down Breath of the Wild. It's been more times than I can count. And no, I haven't finished it. Same with all the Legend of Zelda games. The only Zelda game that I beat was Link's Awakening DX on the Switch, which still is the only Link game I've ever completed. But hey, you know, it still counts. Now, I did find a cheat shortcut for this one. If you just jump up there, then it'll bounce well around. You'll go right to this little platform. You don't have to worry about that enemy. He's not going to bother you, or they're not going to bother you. I'd, we still having... Maybe if they had a manual, we could find out the pronouns, but I don't think they really took the time to put the pronouns in, so we're just going to call it whatever I see fit so far until I get corrected on Twitter 10 years in the future, and then get canceled for it. And if that ages well, then cool. I'm glad I called it. <laughs> uh, the best thing to do here is to make sure to go down, because the spike thing is going... It goes in a circle, but if you get hit by it, then I want to say it changes direction. At least that's from my experience, because I've gotten hit here quite a few times when I wasn't even trying to get the Coco. So make sure to go down, then you're gonna wait in the upper corner because we just have to get the timing right for this one. This one isn't too bad of a timing. This one is difficult for timing. You want to leave not too early, but not too late. And if you do it here, you might get a little close there, so you let go of the trigger. Sonic will stop for a second, give you a brief heart attack, and then you'll run again, and there you go. And here's this Coco here. Yeah, that's definitely one of the more annoying platforming Cocos here. The rest of them are not that bad, except for the very final one, which I wish off, which took me a very long time to figure out. But that, that's kind of how it goes. And don't worry, once we do get the final Coco, I do show off how we got every, everything on the map, which is great. I don't, what's most likely going to happen is once I go and do all the stuff, then... Bye, Sonic. Yeah, you are a strike. Uh, once I go through and get everything, then cool, you know, we're going to show the ending, see if there's any hidden credit scene that I don't know about. And if not, then, you know, I might just do... What? How did that happen? Anyway, I might do a oops, I fixed it at the very end once I go and get everything, you know, when I just to fully get this game off my plate so I never have to see it ever again. I am aware that there is more DLC coming, specifically new playable characters and a new story. Listen, I I don't know when that's coming out. I, I'm really hoping it's either soon or never. One of the two. If it comes out right before I finish this game, awesome. Perfect timing. Then I can just fully be like, there, we're done. We're done. I'm never looking at this game ever again. If not, then shoot. Uh, I died there because things didn't load properly. Which, you know, I find out afterwards. But yes, we're just going to go to this little grind rail over here. going to shoot us over here. And do a little bouncy bounce. Have another spring over there. And the enemy's going to pop in here. Or not. And there's an enemy there. And once you kill it, then a spring will show up. And then there's this enemy too. Do you like those spikes? I hope you do. We're going to see more of them pretty soon. Unfortunately. Thank you, Sonic. Luckily, we have the humming attack, so that will stop us from face planning into spikes too much. That's definitely not foreshadowing. Look at this cute one with the top hat, or a sombrero, one of the two. It's a nice hat. Very close. Uh, Blue, you're on the Elder Coco? Blue. Oh no, you're on the new Coco. Okay, never mind. I'm the one that needs vision. This Coco is the most difficult and time-consuming one that I had the mispleasure of experiencing. And again, as far as I know, you don't get anything for getting all the new Coco. It just gives you some thing to do. Uh, with the side characters, you know, you get more plot and you get a trophy. Uh, for the new Coco, again, I don't think you get anything other than adding them to your collection when you stand still for about a minute in any of the islands. So, the one thing I can say about this one, before we even get there, is that there's going to be a few things. First off, collect any and all rings that you can possibly find. Uh, hit the buttons. Don't try to cheese your way through it like I do at some points. 
and just try to be aware. Try, try to look around, uh, make sure to destroy any enemies, get all the rings here, because if you get the rings, it causes stuff to happen, this, that, and the other. And that's me hitting the spike and then falling. But luckily, we saved it, because we are awesome. At least that's what I tell myself while I cry myself to sleep. <laughs> no, I'm just... There's going to be switches here that we hit, and there's going to be switches and rings that appear, and then we're going to get the rings in order to make stuff disappear, and it's it's just a whole big thing. It really is, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to see me just mess around here for a little bit, just trying to figure out how to do stuff. I'm going to mess up. That's just kind of how it works. But yes, just hit the switches, rings will appear, get the rings, there you go. I'm sure I've said that five times now, but that's just because there's nothing that tells you about it, so I feel like I need to tell you about that. And because Sonic Frontiers is a 16x9 game, and the last game that I did previously to this was Crash the Huge Adventure, which was not 16x9, uh, it means that at the end of this Let's Play, we're going to spin the wheel for the new 16x9 game. I'm very excited. I hope you are too. And don't worry, there is no Sonic game on it, thank goodness. I, I just need a break from the blue blur. Sonic 06 is still coming, don't you worry. I, I just need something in between them to, to help me not have a headache when I look at him anymore. I okay, love Sonic with Sweet Guns. This is the one game that you can put a lot of time into. And I have. Yeah, so you see those rings that appear? They're there for a reason. They're, they're, that's where you're supposed to go over there and get the rings. I realize that later on, but I, I, I'm just a little slow. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I guess Sonic's too fast for me. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Yes, I'm. It does help a little bit to know that I've. To know that we're close. We were very, very close to the end. Uh. All island videos are going to be more or less like this, where we just jam it all together in one video that's under 30 minutes long. And if it's over it, then just gonna have to condense whatever I can in order to make it under 30 minutes so it is very palatable. Because you can only beef stew so many times consecutively before you start asking for just a skittle. I don't know if that made sense or not, but it made sense to me. Um, With us having everything all leveled up, it means that we do a lot more damage to the Guardians, which is fantastic, because it means that it takes way less time for us to defeat them. You're going to be seeing that in the next episode. But, thankfully, I've already recorded me completing the second island as of now. I haven't gotten all the memory tokens, so I'll do that when I'm bored and need to exercise. So all the time. Um, but I just really wanted to focus on getting... Uh, this video out because I, I like to I like to plan ahead. I really do. Again, one of my favorite things to do is to just get like so far ahead that I can be a month like pre-uploaded, pre-planned, pre-scheduled. That that's my goal. That hasn't happened yet, and my oh my, my over a year of YouTube. But you know, still, <laughs> it's a good goal to have. As well as one of the things that I do have is, I'm sure I mentioned it previously, but I don't think I brought it up recently, but I recently figured out how to make my PS2 work. So not only is it uh, not dark as heck, but it, we have the full Y PBR cable, so it's the best pi it's the best picture possible, as well as how to get the HDMI working so it can be properly recorded. So. If we get a PS2 game anytime soon, I can guarantee you it's going to look the best it's ever looked. Like, I, rem I, I started playing some of the games that I played back when I was a kid. I'm like, wow, this looks actually exactly as I remember it. And it was so it was so insane. The reason for that is because for, like, PS2 and Xbox games, I, I typically had the three-component cable. I didn't have, like, the big thing. So, you gotta think, for... To go from the 3 cable to the 5 cable on an HD TV when you're used to the regular square TV, that that's that's quite a lovely improvement. And the fact that it looks the same to me just shows, like, wow, that 
I wonder how much I suffered with it previously. <laughs> you know, I was like, man, how bad was it? <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> but, yes, if we do get to a PS2 game, uh, whenever we spin the thing, then, you know, cool. But, I'll, I'll definitely squeeze it in. I'm, I've currently been playing uh, Ratchet Deadlock just just for fun. Because one of the one of the difficulties is unlocked, so you have to beat the game in order to get the max difficulty. And considering I've only been in the game on the easy, the easiest difficulty, I figured I'll go ahead, play it through the hardest difficulty, so then I can do a let's play of it on the absolute hardest difficulty. Because I haven't done that ever. And so it would just be nice to have another notch in my belt. Speaking of which, I know I talk about notches and belts a lot, or maybe this is the first time I mentioned it, I don't know. But one thing that I'd really like to do is just kind of have like a like an actual belt and then have little icons for the games that I 100%ed or 101%ed. I, I just feel like that'd be really cool. So I'm be like, oh yeah, I beat that game 100%, I beat that game 100%, I beat that game 100%. Uh, it's just a cute little thing for me. It's like how Catechris made himself a little trophy for getting all the uh, platinum relics in the Crash games. Which, sweet goodness. I know I brought it up quite a few times. I do watch Catechris at work, but, like, my goodness. I, I could not go through that. But I also wanted to give a shout out to uh, Giuseppe, I want to say is how I say his name. I got the notification a few. I didn't get the notification at all. I had to go to the YouTube app, which on my phone is pretty rare, first off. Second off, I checked the notification and Giuseppe started a Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy, on his channel. And he shouted me out and linked to my uh, Crash the Huge Adventure Let's Play. So I just want to say thank you personally. Uh, I, I said thank you in the video comment as well, and he gave a thumbs up. So I just wanted to say thank you in my own video. You know, if anyone, like, points me out, then I'm like, hey, you know, cool. I, I've done it a few times, and it's 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 nice. It, it's, it's always so cool to realize that other people are watching you. It's something that, like, it, when, I think even if you're, like, let's say a thousand subscribers, just getting, like, a comment, or, like, hearing someone say, oh, yeah, I watch your videos, you're just like, Wait, really? I thought it was all bots. So, just anything, like any confirmation from anyone that they watch my stuff, that, that's, that's, it really makes my day. Here's the King Coco, and that is it. That is the final Coco. Let's pull up the map. The other map, kid. The other one. Hit, hit, hit the triangle button. There we go. All gold items, and we get a little crown right there. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you all next time on Ares Island. Goodbye, my CB Bears.